Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this super, super cute and so easy to make um, paper bag. And this is specifically for week two of Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge. And for week two, we're making either tags or bag toppers or paper bags just like this. <clears throat> you can eat, you can make all of them or you can make just one or you can make none so whichever you feel like doing do it it's a non stress or a stress free challenge anyway we're gonna start so for this one I'm gonna need for you to have a 12 by 12 piece of paper you're gonna need your paper trimmer your um, scoring tool some scissors and adhesive for the adhesive I'm gonna be using a glue gun so let me get that all squared away so for the first step um, I need for you to identify the orientation of your print because for example this is a print that has orientation and this one does not so it doesn't matter where you start cutting but I suggest that if this is your orientation you're gonna cut it nine inches here and five inches down just to make sure that you have your own orientation correctly so we're gonna do two bags one for girls and boys and I use the doodle bug party time and the doodle bug hey cupcake collection and I got this from three chicks three crafts chicks dot com and I'm going to put their link down below that's where I get my doodle bug products and they are um, less expensive uh, there's they're less they're more affordable definitely I just compared prices yesterday they're more affordable than um, scrapbook.com anyways so first my first cut will be I'm going to cut at five and a half with this orientation guys we're gonna do five and a half by nine and that's gonna be our paper so you're going to see this is our orientation for five and a half, five and a half by nine inches. Okay, and then let me get my paper because we're going to be scoring so easy. So at your five inch side, which is this one, you're going to score at one inch. So five and a half by nine, you're going to score at the five and a half mark five and a half side one inch and then you're going to turn it and this is your nine inch side okay your first score mark is half an inch like that second score mark is three and three fourths this is so easy you can do this for birthdays Halloween Christmas any kind of celebration Valentine's Day next one is four and three fourths so easy and it's so quick to make and then eight inches okay so the next step is I need for you to score all those marks score it you can use your bone folder if you want to um, and also identify which side you want so I've already identified that this is the side that I want the crazy prints but you can do the non crazy prints as well and then score this side okay so you're going to notice that your half inch is right here I'm just not gonna show you this crazy side let's do this side so this is the where the half inch is and this is where the one inch score line is so I am going to trim it this is how you're going to trim this you're going to put a slant on here because this is where you're going to put your adhesive and then you're going to cut on the score marks be mindful to not I'm going to show you how to cut them so just follow the score marks and then you're going to notice you have two tabs right here this is where you're going to take a slip from it like that just a very tiny sliver just so it's easier for you to fold and 
that is pretty much it my friends so easy to do next step you're going to put your adhesive and I'm going to use my glue gun just for you can use your double-sided tape if you want to as well and after we put our um, adhesive right here we're going to fold it just like this okay so that's the goal we're going to fold it here and like that so let me put my adhesive and then you're going to fold and then your paper bag is done see and then I would use my fingers to kind of pinch it just so it gives a semblance of right there can you see that gives a semblance slightly of like a paper bag and then what I would have you do is I'm gonna have you punch I'm gonna have you punch the um, the holes for your kind of ribbon right there and then we're going to we're going to close this up close this up and then you're going to put your adhesive right here just to close it up so let me do that right now isn't that so easy I mean it took us probably a good less than five minutes about three and a half minutes and you're done absolutely done you're done in no time and you have so much scraps left over and then if you want to you can decorate it with this elephant or with this monkey and this you can also you can also find at threecraftschicks.com that's where i bought my um doodle bug that's where i buy my doodle bug stuff um let me let me i love using these you guys I think they're very economical um, they're very cost-effective and then I just use my glue gun cost-effective it is the it is it has so much um, like dimension to it you don't have to destroy your nails to peel off the adhesive which is another advantage okay there how cute look how cute it is and then all you need to do is all you need to do is your um handle so let's get the handle okay guys i have this grow grain ribbon i don't know where i got it but this one is five in uh six inches this one i used seven inches but i think five uh, six inches is cute as well so let me I'll attach that later so what I'm doing is I'm just putting the ribbon through it just like that so easy and then I'm going to put my glue you can tie it too but when you tie it you're going to require more ribbon which I do not want to do because I don't think you're going to be putting anything heavy in here anyways. And then what I like to do is I like to put some, a dollop of glue right there just so it sticks. And it looks better, actually. And then you're going to do this. And you're going to insert that there. Okay. Can you see? And then I flip it up just like this and I add my glue and then I attach it simple as that okay once I know that's attached how cute after that it's attached I'm gonna put a dollop of glue right here so that it looks very finished How cute. I think this is super cute. 
and then we're going to do it on the other side as well but before i do that i want to stick my character to the front isn't that so easy to do you can make it as simple or as extravagant as you prefer so let me put the other ribbon turn it around super easy to make guys so easy to make and you can create this for any single occasion it could be a birthday it could be thanksgiving would be so cute as maybe like um like a placeholder it could be for a baby shower any kind of party birthdays if you want to give treats to your guests or like a gift card for like a co-worker who's helped you or a friend you know gift cards are totally all the rage right now because nobody can go to the store so amazon gift card would be perfect for anybody everybody would love that and so yes the so next see the difference between this one i'm not attaching it versus this one i've attached i think it makes a huge difference when it comes to it looking kind of polished so right there i'm gonna put a dollop just like that and then do the same thing for this side so cute how pretty looks so much prettier and then I'm gonna borrow this tissue paper so pretend you have the present inside already simple as that and then all you need to do is put your um, sentiments across right here and you are ready to go how cute would this be as a gift card and then you can um, as a gift card holder or a tiny little present holder um, and it just looks so cute so easy to make amazing amazing easy anyway that's it for today I hope that you had fun watching this video and I hope you would consider subscribing um, comment and like um, and then if if you would like to also hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I have a video up in my channel um, thank you so much you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this is Christian signing off have a wonderful wonderful crafty day bye guys I need this one too for Christmas in July by the way no need for dyes or anything super easy Blue sky.